everyone, I'm Maki. The movie Gangnam Seed Freedom is being released in various countries. It's still causing a lot of excitement in Japan as well. Meanwhile, new information other than the movie is also being revealed. You can feel the enthusiasm to create the next big wave of excitement. So today we will present some news about the Gundam series. Have you hit the subscribe button yet? Let's see Gundams from different years. In 2024, the Gundam series will celebrate its 45th anniversary. To commemorate this, a special program will be broadcast on the Gundam YouTube channel and Bandai channel on April 7th at 7 p.m. Japan time. It's not uncommon for special programs to be broadcast. This program will feature appearances by Toru Furuya, the voice of Anna Owei Tumo Kosuseki, the voice of Domen Kashiu, and Kanaichi Nose, the voice of Seo Tomakuri. There are some elements I would like to pay attention to. This year also marks the 30th anniversary of the release of G Gunan. To commemorate this, it has been announced that new information about G Gunan will be revealed. What might this new information be? Will new products like model kits be announced? Just like with the release of the movie Seat Freedom, it seems that Bandai is focusing on the effectiveness of announcing any works that target fans of existing works. Personally, I hope that some form of G Gundam Ani will be released. I want to see Master Gundam's performance in the 13th Gundam Fight Final League. And it's also one of the most popular mobile suits. What kind of new information will be revealed? Let's look forward to it! New products from the movie Gundam Seed Freedom have been announced. They are high-grade model kits. Dual Blitz Gundam and Lightning Buster Gundam will be released. These are not from the old high-grade series but from the new high-grade Cosmic Era series, probably most of the parts have been redesigned. Equipped with nuclear engines and improved modifications, the Duo Gundam and Buster Gundam allow you to experience the coolness of advanced Gundams while feeling nostalgic. The weapon details of the Duo Blitz Gundam have also been revealed. It seems to be equipped with a beam rifle, similar to the original Duo Gundam. The additional armor is called a Soul Shroud, just like the old Duo Gundam. It seems possible to remove the armor and change its appearance. Shoulder mounted beam rifle small missiles and beam sabers are also equipped, including the beam saber on his back. He seems to have a total of three beam sabers. The scene where his expired duo Gundam uses two beam sabers is memorable. However, one of the beam sabers on the traditional duo Gundam was just a spare. The battery capacity of the mobile suits at the time was less than that of the latest mobile suits. Therefore, activating two sabers at the same time will significantly shorten the time available for combat. The scene where the Forbidden Gundam was defeated was when it accused his trump card. The Lightning Buster Gundam is also very cool. It looks a lot like the traditional Buster Gundam. The element of resembling the old model while being equipped with new weapons is very cool. Its distinctive feature is the addition of large sensor-like parts on both shoulders. The head camera of the Buster Gundam was modified into a large one suitable for long-range sniping. It was decided not to equip the head Vulcan cannons in order to mount more powerful and larger sensors. The Lightning Buster Gundam was equipped with two even larger sensors. In the movie, it advanced into the center of the battlefield, but it could also be capable of extremely long-range sniping. 
Also interesting is the addition of missiles on its back. These missiles are fired from the rear, make a trajectory change, and then are fired forward. Did you notice that? The Blast Impulse Gunnam has similar missiles. Take a close look at the scene where Luna Maria fires the beam cannon and the railgun at the enemy troops. The missile is launched from behind the beam cannon and flies forward from the Blast Impulse Gunnam. The Lightning Buster Gunnam could be using data from the Brass Team Post Gunnam Spec 2, or vice versa. Imagining the technical connections is also fun. The Dual Blitz Gunnam and the Lightning Buster Gunnam are priced at about $19. The Dual Blitz Gunnam will be released in July 2024 and the Lightning Buster Gunnam in September 2024. Please note that currency exchange rates and transportation may cost price and schedule differences by region. And from the Seed series, the Slaughter Dagger has been announced as a robot spirit figure, appearing in the Stargazer spin-off. It is a mobile suit modified from the 105 Dagger. It was designed for use by the independent unit Phantom Pain. Its most distinctive feature is the anti-personnel machine gun in its legs. Stargazer depicts the ruthless scene of attacking refugee camps. The equipment seems to embody the discrimination against coordinators. In addition, the release of the Strike Noil was announced. The Strike Noil is compatible with the Isle Striker. In fact, there is a scene in the Astray spin-off where the strike Nora uses an Hawaii striker pack. If you want to recreate the strike Nora equipped with the Owl striker, you will probably need to get your hands on the slaughter dagger. The movie Seed Freedom also features many scenes where the 105 dagger plays an active role. Maybe the regular 105 dagger will be released as well. The price is about $80. Reservations will begin at 4 p.m. Japan time on March 20 tonned. Shipping is planned for September. Please note that exchange rates and shipping routes may cost prices and schedules to vary by region. Model kits from the Universal Century series have also been announced, including a real grade of the original Gunnam. The original Gundam model kit is often recommended for beginners due to its importance as the foundation of the series. Bandai has put a lot of passion into these products, and the new real grade seems to follow in the tradition. A key feature is the semi monoic internal frame structure, which differs from the movable frame seen in later models like the Zeta Gundam. The movable frame design separates the armor and weapons from the internal frame, allowing for flexible movement and easier maintenance of the mobile suit. In the era of the original Gunnam, a different type of internal frame was used. The earliest mobile suits used a monoic structure similar to the exoskeleton of an insect. A key feature is the absence of parts that act like the skeleton in the human body, simplifying the structure and making it easier to manufacture and mass produce. However, damage to the armor could affect the overall balance, sometimes necessitating replacement of the entire section. Thus, all the Zeo mobile suits could become difficult to fight with only partial damage. The Gundam uses a semi-monoic structure, which increases strength by adding a frame inside the monoic structure. This increases the independence of each part, making it possible to continue fighting even if some parts are damaged. In the final battle of the original Gundam, it continued to fight despite losing an arm and its head. This was made possible by the semi-monoic frame.
The real great Gundam focuses on recreating the Senimonoic structure. Watching it without the armor can be an interesting experience. The price is about $25 and will be released in August 2024. Please note that exchange rates and shipping routes may cause fluctuations in price and release schedules. In addition, high-grade models of Boyok Summon and Psycho Gundam Mark II of Seide Gundam have been announced. Details are still scarce only the production decision and prototypes have been revealed. Psycho Gundam Mark II is a large model kit and it's curious what the price will be. High quality model kits for the mobile suits from the computer graphics work Requiem for Vengeance have been announced. Details of the products will be announced later. These are the Zaku 2 mobile suit, piloted by a character named Solari and the Gundam EX. Is Solari the protagonist? And what kind of mobile suits is the Gundam with EX attached? Let's wait for more news! Footage from the Bully Earl work Silver Phantom was also released. The unit of the story is from the Universal Century 0096, the same era as Gundam Unicorn. Zaku 2s with white paint, Jason's gyms with AK markings, and Geodorus appear in the footage. The gyms seem to be working with the Zarkas, and their shields do not have the Earth Federation mark. They appear to belong to an organization other than the Earth Federation and Neo Zeon. Could these gyms be the Gym 3s operating during this period? However, analyzing their cooperation with the Zaku 2s, there's also the possibility that they could be the original gyms. Let's also note that they are fighting Jesons, the newest mobile suits. Could they be an entity like the Oldsmobile from Gundam Formula 90? Oldsmobile refers to mobile suits that look outdated on the outside, but are equipped with the latest intels. There is also the new Zeon's mobile suit Zusa with red paint. A gun cannon with the emblem of the Earth Federation has also made an appearance along with the Gundam that the protagonist seems to be piloting. What kind of story will unfold? A lot of new information has been released and the whole Gundam series is getting exciting. Personally, I'm looking forward to new information about G Gundam. Let's meet again in the next episode.